The Cape Town Siva Alium is regarded as the mother temple in the mother city. Believed to be one of the first Hindu societies established in the Western Cape region, it has provided an environment to foster Hindu culture and traditions, spawning the many temples that today serve Cape devotees. Cape Tamil Educational Cultural Society was initially formed by some pioneers of this community. And later stage in 1964, the first constitution under the name of Siva Aliyam was uh, signed. Um, then between 64 to 78, the institution was run by um, some members of this community, but done in various homes, garages, cinemas, and, and things like that. Uh, apparently in around 19, late 60s, uh, the Group Areas Act uh, brought the Indians to Rylands. And the site that where we are sitting actually uh, was a Christian church. And this temple where you're standing is a parking bay, and the hall is actually the church. So that Christian community, when they were moved out, and they decided to sell it to the Indian community who want to continue to use these premises as a place of worship. Siva Aliyam recently um, had the AGM last year and we, we created more little, little clusters in the institution itself to take our various activities. So we have um, the prayer group, so-called, uh, which governs the prayer activities. Then we have the Siva Aliyam help desk or social welfare desk, which reaches out to families and assist in, in terms of funeral services or if they have some challenges in terms of various other social challenges. So we try to assist them with spiritually and we connect those families to a proper institution to get their professional help. So that is one of the wing. Then recently there now we started up the youth movement um, and then we form a women's forum recently to to look into women's needs in the community um, and also see how can we also promote some of the women which are uh, exceptionally did very well in their life. During the apartheid, they excel themselves. Um, those who are worked very hard and kept this flame of the alim. <laughs> People used to identify with their language. If you ask a person who you are, then immediately the person will tell me I'm a Hindi or I'm a Tamil or Telugu. These are spoken languages. We all belong to one broader umbrella that is uh, Sanadana Dharma or Hinduism. And all our pujas and prayers and rituals all is guided through sacred texts like the Vedas and all of them in Sanskrit. So what we're trying to do is to support each other uh, in terms of various projects and uh, community work and uh, various fundraising activities.
they all are brothers and sisters and, and um, they are in a small minority group um, looking for a facility to practice their uh, devotion and practice their way of life. So we, the Siva Alim, are offering that platform to them so to network and uh, that's what this Hinduism is all about. We must must promote brotherhood and, and help each other in the time of need and that's all bringing uh, more blessings to oneself. Gandhi said that the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. From the dharma steeped in the Ramayan to the wisdom espoused by Gandhiji, Hinduism has presented us with beautiful opportunities to transcend the material world to reach a place of spiritual awakening. And all this through steady sadhana. Until next week, do keep up your sadhana. Jai Bajrangbali. Bali.